Each and every one of you can save a life. How many of you know how to use an EpiPen? If you saw someone you know, or even a stranger having a severe allergic reaction, would you know what to do? According to the American College of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology, or the ACAAI, states that almost half of patients with a severe alert allergy do, do not carry their prescribed EpiPen with them at all times. In addition to this, about 21% state that they did not know all the exact steps of using their EpiPen. My parents did not know what to do when I had my reaction. I was in sixth grade and I ate one pistachio. Before I knew it, my throat felt funny and I was having a hard time breathing. Luckily, my neighbor had a son with a severe peanut allergy and she had access to an EpiPen. She had to inject the EpiPen into me because neither my parents or myself knew what to do. Since this incident, I was diagnosed with a severe peanut allergy and I have to carry my, my own EpiPen everywhere I go. My family and I have taken ample amounts of time to understand the exact procedure of using an EpiPen and what to do if it ever happens again to me or somebody else. As a personal victim of this, I am an expert of knowing everything to do when it comes to using an EpiPen. First, you need to understand all the symptoms of having a severe allergic reaction. It can be severe coughing and wheezing, your face can swell up, severe itching. Then you need to know the exact six procedure steps of using the EpiPen. First, you need to calm the patient down as much as possible. Then you need to take the EpiPen with the orange tip facing down and remove the blue cap. Then you need to inject it into the outer thigh. Since I can't show you the thigh, I'll show you my outer arm. You inject it for until you hear the clicking sound and you wait for three seconds according to the EpiPen company. After injection, call 911 immediately. And if they have Benadryl on hand, give them a dose of that, because that can reduce any further reactions. Then, if the patient does not seem better within 5 to 15 minutes, and they have another EpiPen on them, give them another shot, because they can have a rebound, and that go in the exact same way. It could be fatal. In a recent study in 2018 by the ACAI found that 52% of children and adults do not have their EpiPen when an emergency happens. This is due to a lack of knowledge and a lack of access to their EpiPen. And a, mis and a misuse of the EpiPen can be very fatal. Everyone should know the procedure of using an EpiPen. You never know when you or somebody else is going to need it. I am thankful every day for my neighbor that she knew exactly what to do. You never know what situation you're going to be in, and knowing exactly what to do can save someone's life. I know it saved mine.